Hi. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Hello, hello. Um, so it seems that I created quite the stir with my, um, with my video, uh, which was a couple of videos ago, where I gave you all a sneak peek to my podcast episode with Mondale Robinson, who does incredible work with the male uh, voter project. He's just an incredible, an incredible activist. Um, and I can't, I don't have my glasses on, uh, so I can't see if people are being trolly in my comments. Um, uh, so I apologize if, it, you know, my comments sometimes on all social media uh, can get a little hairy. Um, and I always fear that, like, the user experience um, on my pages becomes a real bummer. So um, I will. Thank you for those roses. I don't know what any of this means, but thank you. Um, so I, I will sometimes turn off my comments. Um, hold on. Uh, no. Um, so I will t sometimes turn off my comments. It is not that I'm not hearing you or seeing you or your perspective. It is that um, uh, I just don't want my pages to be, uh, you know, a, a, a hostile place for people to come. It just doesn't, it just doesn't feel good. It, and you guys can all have as many issues with me. Um, and that's okay. But uh, w when you're, when you're saying horrible things in my comments, it doesn't just affect me. It also affects the people who are following me, who are here for a very specific, um, you know, reason and experience. Um, so I would love to just, now that I have your attention, uh, highlight some incredible organizations that are doing incredible work. Um, one is an organization, uh, that I love, that I always, um, go back to in my anti-racist work, and that is, uh, Surge, um, and it's S-U-R-J, showing up for racial justice. And what Surge does is basically organize white people against racism. Um, and really what we all need to do to, uh, to lift up um, voices that are, uh, you know, doing incredible work. And um, so I am lifting up the incredible work that Surge is doing. Um, also, Color of Change uh, is an incredible, incredible organization. And I highly recommend um, you all checking out both. Um, the Black Male Voter Project that I spoke about before is unbelievable. And of course, I am a supporter of Black Lives Matter. Um, and to those who I upset that are well or were well-intentioned, um, I apologize. Um, but for those that uh, I upset that um, are trying to cancel me because of my political views, like, you know what? People have been trying to cancel me since the 80s and um, it hasn't worked. So you can have differing opinions. I think that's fine. Um, but just don't come on my page to give me shit because honestly, uh, I have had a lifetime of people who uh, disagree with my activism and I'm really, really, really uh, okay with it. So um, speaking of being sorry, not sorry, that leads me to this week's episode of my podcast, um, which is available everywhere. It's called Alyssa Milano, Sorry Not Sorry. Uh, we have almost 2 million uh, listens. It's an awesome podcast where it's it goes in depth to these issues um, that we're facing as a nation and as humanity. Um, and so this week we are talking about the history of the death penalty. Uh, so I highly recommend 
um, you listening to that. It's a really important episode. And then you could just let it keep playing because last week's episode was also super important. It was about, um, uh, my guest was a former white supremacist who got out of of hate groups and now is um, focusing on uh, trying to 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 get to uh, people who have chosen a path of hate and he does everything in his power to to uh, rehabilitate these people and it's and it's his way of trying to um, make amends and and hold himself accountable um, for for his past. Um, really interesting episode. I highly recommend. Um, and uh, if you'd like to continue to be upset by what I stand for, <laughs> um, I would also like to suggest uh, that you're going to really be pissed off by my book of essays that's coming out um, on October 26th, where I talk, well, I talk about a lot of personal things, um, you know, like things that people can relate to, like, like, uh, you know, being married and having children and, and being a parent and all of those, those things that I find really, um, amazing, but super challenging. And I've always been really honest about how I feel that, um, Parenthood is something that is incredibly rewarding, but also incredibly terrifying. Um, so, uh, yeah, so the book uh, not only has personal essays in it, but also uh, we talk a lot about my activism and how, um, you know, I am the type of person that will always uh, fight for um, what I believe in and, and, uh, where my values sit and stand and and how I will always continue to fight for the sick and the most vulnerable and the marginalized and um, and I'm sure it'll piss a lot of you off uh, but that's okay and that is okay and also let's have constructive dialogue about all this um, in my comments, but let's not be assholes. Let's not be jerks. Let's not be rude. There's no reason for it. There's literally no reason for it. It is not going to make me back down. Um, you know, I had five years of pretty intense trolling from Trump supporters and here I am. I'm still using my voice and being the voice for those that don't have a voice um, and so I'm not going to stop. It's just not who I am. Um, I also want to add on top of all of this, um, that I am going to be doing, um, cameos for Mother's Day for, to raise money for, uh, UNICEF COVID relief in India. Um, I'm sure you're aware, but what is, and if you're not aware, please, please do some research. What is happening in India right now, as far as um, uh, COVID is concerned, is catastrophic. It is um, a huge, huge, huge uh, humanitarian crisis. Um, they're, they're having to build mass graves. We don't even know what the death count is. Um, they're ha they have something like 350,000 positive cases a day and those are just the people i i was in india for, uh, with unicef right after the tsunami and let me tell you like there's a lot of people that don't have access to testing because so many people live in such rural communities so the fact that we know that there are 350,000 people testing positive that's just that's just a very 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 small amount of those that i'm sure are sick because uh, there are so many people that live in remote areas in India that probably don't have access um, to testing. So, and hospitals and health care, like their their healthcare system was so 
uh, fragile even then, and that was many, many years ago. So uh, I'm going to be raising money for UNICEF India. Um, please check out the amazing work that they're doing. Um, and I think that um, uh, what they need right now uh, is funds. They need funds and funding to get vaccinations to these rural areas to get people vaccinated. Uh, and UNICEF has the infrastructure to do that because they have been, you know, vaccinating people um, and really at the forefront at uh, uh, health in developing nations. So you can book a cameo with me and all of the money, I'm not even, I'm not taking even a little bit, is going to go directly to UNICEF um, India uh, where we will be uh, raising money. Um, hold on. People want to go live. I've never done that in uh, TikTok. Um, anyway, so uh, I think that is all I have for today. Uh, um, thank you so much for joining me for this live. Thank you for um, being a part of my community, even though sometimes it can be uh hard and rough and kind of not feel right um and i promise that i will try to continue to stay on top of uh the comments as much as as i can um uh, but if things just get too volatile i'm just gonna turn off the comments so if you'd like to have a healthy debate on any of the issues I fight uh, hard for, then let's do it. But if you're just going to come to my page to um, be uh, cruel and hurtful, um, I'm just going to turn off my comments. Um, and it doesn't mean that I don't want to hear what you have to say or your opinion. It just means like uh, I control what people's experiences are in this community. And so um, I, I feel responsible uh, for people's um, experience here on my TikTok page, and I want to keep it positive. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't have a lot of shit to say, because I do, okay? Um, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thank you for being here. May God bless you and your family uh, now and always. Thank you.